Hello, my name is Alistair McPhail and I'm the British Consul General in Jerusalem. I'm standing in front of the St Andrew's Scottish Guest House, where we will be holding our Burns Supper. I don't think Burns himself ever made it to Jerusalem. I think the closest he got was the Jerusalem Tavern in Dumfries. Working in Jerusalem is complicated. You'll be familiar with the conflict between the Israelis and Palestinians. And behind me is some of the most hotly contested land in the world, important to Christians, Jews and Muslims. And at the moment, Israelis and Palestinians are suffering terrible attacks on a daily basis. Because this city's final status has not yet been agreed, there are no embassies here. So we in the Consulate General work on Jerusalem issues as well as being the British representation to the Palestinian Authority in Ramallah. We cover the whole occupied Palestinian territories, the West Bank including East Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip. We have offices in Jerusalem, Ramallah and Gaza City. We do a variety of work here, but what underpins it all is the desire for peace, for these two peoples to be able to live side by side in peace and security. For us in the Consulate General, our local partners are the Palestinians. We work with all sectors of Palestinian society, particularly in the political, security, development and humanitarian aid arenas. In addition to supporting peace efforts, we help build capacity in Palestinian institutions and the security forces. We help vulnerable communities, whether they be refugees or are just struggling with the effects of the occupation. We promote trade and investment, as well as British education and culture. There are many links between Scotland and the Palestinians. There are historical ties, probably most visibly shown by the scouts here who have pipe bands. Dundee is twinned with Nablus, the main city in the northern part of the West Bank, and Glasgow is twinned with Bethlehem. In our offices, Scots play a full part. I am not the only Scot in the Consulate General. In the Department for International Development, there are always Scots, perhaps because one of their main offices is in East Kilbride. And the team which is helping build the capacity of the Palestinian security forces is led by a Scottish brigadier and includes Scottish soldiers. They are the people who are organising our Burns Supper. As we turn our attention to the immortal memory, which words seem most appropriate to this situation? The tensions here are fuelled by deep distrust and mutual incomprehension, and they're getting worse. One Burns quote which seems appropriate to me comes from To a Louse. O oh, what some power the gifty gie us to see ourselves as others see us. So wherever you are celebrating Robert Burns, we will also be joining you in toasting the immortal memory.